On Monday, April 8, 2024, millions of North Americans looked up at the sky and witnessed an awe-inspiring total solar eclipse, where the moon blocked out the sun entirely for a few minutes during the day, turning it into darkness. Totality was visible over a narrow 120-mile wide band that stretched across the entire continent of North America, beginning in tropical Mexico and ending in the maritime provinces of eastern Canada, before setting out to sea and lifting off Earth in the Atlantic Ocean near Great Britain. It was the only day in the entire 21st century on which totality would be visible in all three countries, Mexico, the United States, and Canada, giving it the nickname the Great North American Eclipse. In the United States, the path of totality swept across a diagonal path from Texas to Maine, and the two largest cities in the path of totality were Dallas, Texas, and Cleveland, Ohio. It was the second total solar eclipse to grace the American skies in less than seven years, with the last one being on Monday, August 21, 2017. Though I would argue this week's total solar eclipse was far more remarkable than August 21, 2017, because it passed through or came nearby a lot more major cities than 2017 did, and further, totality lasted almost two full minutes longer, up to 4 minutes 27 seconds if you were on the south side of Texas, compared to only 2 minutes and 41 seconds at Greatest Eclipse in 2017. In Cleveland, Ohio, where I viewed totality from, it lasted 3 minutes and 50 seconds. I was only 9 miles away from the central line of the moon's shadow, or Umbra, which was over Lake Erie at that point. And this is why Cleveland's time of totality was near the maximum possible in that region. The maximum possible in that region was on the center line, just 9 miles away, 3 minutes and 52 seconds over Lake Erie. Fortunately, the weather cooperated and I was able to see the entire show. The only clouds I saw were a high layer of thin cirrus clouds that were easy to see through and therefore caused little to no viewing problems during totality. The eclipse sun was 49 degrees above the horizon, allowing me to look up and see the sun's corona, the highly active outermost region of the sun's atmosphere. While I didn't quite have the right equipment to take photos of the corona, I can deny that 3 minutes 50 seconds of totality were by far the coolest sight I've ever seen in my life. I even saw a few stars and planets during totality. And that's why you owe it to yourself to be inside the moon's shadow, the moon's umbra, and experience totality. The next time it will be visible anywhere in the world is August 12, 2026 in Iceland or Spain. If you live in the United States, the next time totality will occur in the U.S. is March 30, 2033. But that's just the very remote northern tip of Alaska, which is notorious for its inclement weather in March. If you want totality to occur again in the contiguous United States, you have to wait a little longer, August 22, 2044, when a slice of Montana, North Dakota, and far northwestern South Dakota will see totality just right as sunset happens. Rip everyone who got clouded out on Monday. But after 2044, you hardly have to wait another year until the next total solar eclipse crosses the U.S. after that, which will occur on Saturday, August 12, 2045, and will be almost an additional two minutes longer than this year's total solar eclipse, which lasted four minutes and 28 seconds. August 12, 2045 will be six minutes and six seconds, assuming we're in Stewart, Florida. That will be truly the eclipse of our lifetimes. Well, assuming, of course, that it isn't cloudy in Stewart, Florida on August 12, 2045. I leave it to you to watch these videos I recorded during totality on the pier at Edgewater Park in Cleveland, Ohio on Monday. A few moments later. Yeah. <laughs> 
moments later. If you enjoyed this video, please like the YouTube video and subscribe to Mob 2024 if you would like to see more videos.